Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now today's video a little bit different. I greatly enjoy fitness. Generally speaking, being in good shape, eating well, feeling good, and living a pretty healthy lifestyle for the most part. And for me, that really comes with going to the gym and getting a good workout. I do like myself a good pump from time to time. Now, unfortunately, it's been a long time since I've been able to get to the gym. I was thinking to myself, it would be a wonderful opportunity to build a little home gym here. And well, the people at Mech Belt reached out to me to see if I'd be interested in taking a look at their rowing machine. So apart from free weights and machines, having good aerobic equipment at your home gym is definitely a great way to go. So whether or not you're into treadmill mills or stationary bikes and in this case a rowing machine which in reality is a pretty good full body workout if you use it the right way. So having a rowing machine here, definitely cool. And with that, the people at Mech Belt asked me if I'd help them with an assembly video. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna take a look at the Mech Belt RM116 rowing machine in an assembly video. Get it fully put together and go through each one of the steps. Now I can tell everybody right away, it's not incredibly difficult. It just takes a little bit of patience and general mechanical ability, nothing super technical, but just the ability to use some basic tools. And so when we get back, we're going to go through the building of the RM116 in detail. But with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. And so here, as we get into the Mech Belt RM116 rowing machine, this uses a magnetic resistance mechanism. It has 16 levels of resistance. This has a maximum user weight of 265 pounds, a net weight of 43 pounds, a gross weight of 48 pounds, and assembled it is 57.2 by 18.1 by 27.8 inches. Folded, it's 50.4 by 18.1 by 20.3 inches. Here you can see unpacking the box, everything packed up very well, super easy. Coming out of the package, you will see there are a bunch of different parts, so pay close attention to everything. You can see here, nice and easy and laid out. If you look at page four of the user manual, you will see an exploded view, which gives you an understanding of what you're getting into. So here you can see all of the parts getting on page five. There is a full parts list. I'm going to list this very simple and using the basic terms so everybody can understand. So in front of you, looking at what comes in the hardware package, that can be found on page six of the user's manual. Now, as we get into this here, getting into this assembly, step one. This here is part number one, this foot. This goes on to the main unit number eight, and you can see with the wheels towards the back of the unit. You use the bolts number four with nuts number seven and washers number two. Very straightforward, slide these through the holes and bolt everything together. And in order to do this properly, you're going to use a wrench and an Allen key. So get the wrench on the nut, get the Allen key on the Allen head, tighten this up and you're good to go. So at this point, you have part number one assembled onto main component number eight. Moving forward with bolt number 20 and washer number two, installing part number 10 onto the main unit. So slide the washer onto the bolt, get this into place, set them in loosely, and you can see you're able to get this nicely in place, no problem, threads in with ease, and using your Allen wrench to tighten everything up, very straightforward. I like to get everything close and finger tight and just check it to make sure everything looks like it's in proper alignment and to make sure that as I go with this process, I'm not accidentally stripping something. But you can see here, fit together very well. Now here for step three, using part number 65, again, getting this mounted to the main unit. You're also gonna need shaft number 60 and pull pin number 66 and leveraging bolt number 20 and washer number two. So getting the shaft installed into place, very simple. Again, you're gonna use your Allen wrenches. You can see turning the bolts in two different directions until they're both tight. Again, very straightforward in getting everything in, into place. Now leveraging the pin, pull pin number 66. This locks everything where it needs to go. 
Now here, step number four, using rail number 61. You'll notice that the alignment on the foot goes a very specific direction. Now this uses foot number 59. This here is gonna get fastened into place using bolts number 20 and the Allen key. So again, look at the bolt pattern, line everything up, start your bolts by hand to make sure nothing strips, and then get on them with the Allen key. After a short amount of time and a little bit of patience, everything should go down and into place nicely. So now you can see here step number five. Now the rail does come pre-assembled with some bumpers. Those bumpers need to be removed. So this is part number 62 and again, bolt number 20. Leveraging that wrench and pulling it out, you do get those out of the way so you can fit the seat. This is number 51. Pay attention to the direction the seat goes on. There's a wide flare side and a narrow front. The wide flare side needs to go to the back. Put the bumpers back into place and proceed with step number six. Step number six, you're taking the rail assembly and getting it mounted to the main unit. At this point, you're leveraging bolts number 64 through two holes, and you can see they should line up nicely. Now you're gonna put the square end of the rail assembly into the main unit. It should fit easily, leveraging your wrench and your Allen key and tightening everything up. Again, start everything finger tight to make sure that nothing strips, and once you get it going, you should be able to get your tools in place and tighten everything up nicely. Moving on to step number seven, you do have two foot pedals. There is a left and the right. You'll notice that these fit into a certain point and then there is a set screw. Leverage the set screw. This is going to be part number 36 to set these into place. And at that point, you can pull off all of the plastic. Testing it real quick and getting this just a basic functional check and getting the strap and handle into place. Here you can see it did come just a little bit twisted out of the box, but not a big deal. And functionally, very smooth. Tilting up the media stand, here you can see on top, and moving on to step number eight. Now the computer does need a battery. It does leverage two AA batteries. So you can see here, inserting the AA's, getting some fresh batteries and popping this into place, very simple. Now you can hear the audible beep as I go between the menu, and this has many different modes. So this does have an auto on, auto off. And so you can see here, this is operated with a single button, very straightforward. There's six different menus on this display. This also has a 16 level resistance, magnetic resistance mechanism. Get your phone or your favorite media device, throw on your favorite YouTube channel and get yourself to a little bit of a workout. So just a functional check here, you can see on the pedals, it does have a Velcro enclosure for your feet. Getting this dialed in and testing it out, very smooth, really quiet, and feels great. You can see it's sliding a little bit on my floors. My floors are very slick, so just a little bit slippery for the needs. This is better suited on a concrete floor. But generally speaking, extremely smooth, feeling good, and giving me that full body workout. Now, there are a few different ways you can go about rowing, but it definitely has a certain technique. And the best part about this particular unit, it does fold up. So you can see here, pull the pin, fold it up, put the pin back in place, and it allows you to roll this unit all around very easily. The nice thing is this can be stored in a corner, very tidy, and it does not take up a huge amount of room. So the Mechbelt RM116, absolutely awesome. It's time to build this into my home gym. So all right, guys, there you have it, an assembly video of the Mechbelt RM116. Now again, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Mechbelt for providing this for review, but at this point you've seen the assembly from beginning to end. As I mentioned coming into it, pretty straightforward, not a lot of surprises, generally fairly easy for most people. And so at this point, it's time to put that into really good use, get myself that full body workout that you get with a rowing machine. So again, whether you have free weights, whether you like machines, whether you like having some sort of aerobic equipment, and in this case, again, the rowing machine, absolutely awesome. And if you like this content, do me a favor, take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. At this point, that channel's growing quickly. I have a bunch of videos up there, so if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless 2. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.